So hello and welcome to a bonus episode of Let's Play Little Big Adventure 2, aka Twinson's Odyssey. Um, now in this episode I'm showing off how exactly I managed to get to the Emerald Moon without any items. Uh, it's not actually that hard to do. It mostly involves abusing two bugs, the jump save bug and one other bug which we will be seeing. Now then, um, it, it, it's a pretty obvious bug. It involves the fairy, of course. Uh, first off, we need to get over to the desert island to get to the Temple of Boo. Uh, inside the Temple of Boo, we're going to be jump save bugging around, and uh, we're going to be stealing ourselves a shuttle. Now then, the fairy bug works by you run up to the fairy, you hit shift, and you use your ticket. The programming in the game is a bit messed up. Um, you can just go into the ferry while it's still raining, causing it to rain on Desert Island, one of the more famous uh, bugs in the Little Big Adventure 2 series. Um, and I'm not going to be skipping much because this video is only really six minutes long anyways, although it is a bit heavily edited in the sense that I have edited all the jump save bugging because we don't really want to watch me um, saving and reloading and saving and reloading, etc, etc, etc. Uh, yep, and although it's not really a speed run per se, I have sort of tried my best to make it fast. Um, I, I slow down a couple times, uh, such as here when this guy says sir. Uh, that sort of messes me up, but otherwise it works pretty well. The uh, little water droplet there when I was jump save bugging sounds good. Uh, you usually don't get any music, so you can't get any uh, neat sounds out of the jump save bug, but um, sometimes you can get some interesting stuff out of, again, the saving and reloading so that you hear the same sound effect over and over again. Um, minecart part, I don't know, you can just run through, the doors open for you, apparently you don't need a minecart to open them. Uh, I always thought you had to write on the minecart for them to open, so... Um, maybe it's unique, It's I'm pretty sure it's unique for this area. As you can see here, just jump save bugging some more, grabbing the key. Uh, normally, of course, you'd need the cart to get through there. Uh, so you have to jump save bug up there. And up coming up is probably one of the biggest jump save bugs I've ever done. Uh, the jump save bug with the car in episode 5 was pretty big. And of course, the jump save bug at the beginning of episode 5 where I fell out of the sky was a big one as well. But I didn't have to video edit that. Um, so... It really required no effort except running my script for about, like, an hour. I just left it running there, Twinson got higher and higher, and then sort of let it roll. Uh, so yeah, here we go. And I could have jump save bugged over to the right a bit and saved a bit of time, but whatever. Uh, up here, uh, you, you had to actually get that key from that uh, source at the bottom, from the uh, equipment, because you can't actually kill that guy when you have no level of magic. You need at least the red magic ball to kill the red guys. Uh, there's actually an invisible wall here, which you can jump save bug over to then land on the platform below, as you can see. And of course, the fall kills you, but... Uh, you can actually glitch out of the uh, death sort of flickering slash death temporary invincibility by changing your behavioral modes, which is an interesting little fact. And as you can see at the bottom left corner, you can see the translator. And that's where the translator will appear if you don't pick it up. Uh, and so they're, the big game is basically telling you, pick up the translator. Um, but even if you don't pick it up, of course, they force you to pick it up as you saw in video 9. And you can't actually understand the guys who ask for the password. So you, um, you, 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 uh, you can't give them the correct code uh, if you don't have the translator. Um, this part gave me a bit of trouble because uh, those guys tend to kill me uh, when I'm trying to run past them. I didn't want to spend the time to kill them. Uh, so this time, though, it worked out fine. Uh, now then, coming up here is a bit tricky. Uh, because the chest lasers, again, create a bunch of particles, uh, shrapnel, which sort of hit stuff. And the shrapnel also hits switches, uh, which has an awful tendency to turn them on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off, as we will soon see. Also, sorry about the audio quality. Um, hopefully it won't be too bad uh, once I finish 
editing it and such, but um, it, it sort of just messed up on me and the, this actually was a decent amount of work to get done, so not really going to do a retake. Uh, yeah, that last switch was giving me a bit of trouble, it just wouldn't... There we go. And yeah, you can't actually leave through there, you have to jump, say, bug back over, like so. And yeah, the jump, say, bug for the spacesuit looks pretty funny. Um, it, you, it, you can actually get more frames out of it. I got sometimes five frames um, of animation per save and load. Uh, from the suit, surprisingly enough, which is more than I usually get from regular jump saves. Uh, but I also optimized my script a bit for it, so... Yep, and this is how you get into the moon base um, while in the spacesuit. You just fire your lasers while standing on that door. Uh, for some reason, it forces you inside. Uh, once you're inside, then, well, you know what happens next, so thanks for watching.